So if you guys haven't heard, Whoopi Goldberg recently made an oopsie. It's one of the biggest mistakes that Whoopi Goldberg has made in recent history on The View. And considering all the dumb things that get said on The View, it's pretty bad that this one is getting so much attention on the internet.com. It's not very noble of Whoopi Goldberg to do what she did, so that's what we're going to talk about. But we also have a transition to a sponsor. I can't remember what it is. I don't know if I gave it away in the hints. Let's roll. This year is flying by. You are a year closer to your retirement, but I got a question for you. Are your savings a year closer to their retirement? If they're not, there's no need to worry. Even though there's a lot of volatility in the market, a lot of problems, a lot of fears related to inflation, I got a solution for you. And of course, it's our long-term sponsor, Noble Gold Investments. Diversifying your retirement is crucial to being successful. Hedge against inflation. Go over, call them at 877-646-5347 and talk to them about a precious metals IRA. You can also visit them at noblegoldinvestments.com. Again, no upsells, nothing crazy like that. Just an expert that's going to talk to you, that's going to explain what you want to get. And if you sign up, you get a qualifying purchase. Guess what? One tenth of an ounce American Eagle gold coin as a gift to you. That's noblegoldinvestments.com, 877-646-5347. I realize that some people are going to see me transitioning to the Noble Gold ad and emphasizing the gold in Goldberg as some kind of a contact or reference to the fact that Whoopi Goldberg has a Jewish sounding last name. I assure you, that is not the case. I'm telling you, that's not what I was doing. It was just a straight up noble gold transition. But here's the thing. On The View recently, Whoopi Goldberg turned a lot of heads when she talked about the Holocaust in a way that de-emphasized the racism of the Nazis. Now, we're going to talk about this, but we're not going to be like every other girl covering this information because I actually think there is something that you can point out about what Whoopi Goldberg has said that actually has some truth to it. But first and foremost, we have to go to the setup, the prelude to what we're talking about. So the reason this topic came up on The View is due to the fact that apparently a Tennessee school board in their Holocaust curriculum decided to remove a graphic novel called Mouse from that curriculum. Now, it is alleged that this was because of a push against critical race theory in the state of Tennessee. However, from what I can find in this very small school district, the reason they removed this from the curriculum, as in they're not going to assign it to 8th graders, or they decided that they might not assign it to 8th graders, had nothing to do with CRT or the push against the leftist racial indoctrination in our public schools. It was all about the fact that this book apparently has some nudity in it and apparently has some curse words in it and people in conservative areas have been doing stuff like this all the time and by the way the left does this to books way more a bunch of historic classic books have been edited altered by left-wing people due to the fact that they think it has bad racial stereotypes and have been removed from the curriculum because again they have deemed the book retroactively racist including very famously huckleberry finn which was of course written by mark twain who of course was an abolitionist he was anti-slavery but people couldn't get past the fact that the n-word appears in his book so they decided that the book is racist and it needs to be removed from the curriculum. So that's what we're dealing with overall in this nation and this Tennessee story related to Mouse, which apparently is a Pulitzer Prize winning book and is very positively reviewed, is not really as the left wing is portraying it. They're looking for anything and everything that they can utilize as a weapon against people advocating against what they're actually doing in the public schools in that they're teaching their anti-white oppressor versus oppressed dynamic, and they found this story, twisted it, and then put it out into the public. But that's the setup for what the ladies of The View are talking about. That's why the Holocaust came up, and that's what led Whoopi Goldberg to announce that the Holocaust, not about race. Well, also, if you're yeah. going to do this, then let's be truthful about it, because the Holocaust isn't about race. No. No. It's well, not about maybe race. Maybe it's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's about a different it, race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but it's not, it's not about an ideal race. It's it's then, perfect. But these are two Romans. white groups of people. So we're going to have to take this into chunks, and I'm going to have to give you guys some education on the internet.com. 
so you can understand what's wrong with what Whoopi Goldberg said. And I'm also going to cover points where I don't think she was as wrong and some points where I actually think she has a legitimate argument. So first things first, and this should be obvious, even though the Jewish people are considered in America when it's convenient for the left to be white people, for instance, when they talk about all the white men on the Supreme Court throughout history, they're including Jewish nominations and justices on the Supreme Court because, again, it's convenient for the left. It is 100% factually true that Adolf Hitler proclaimed that one of the biggest lies about the Jewish people is that they are a religion and not a race. So Adolf Hitler did see the Jewish people as a race, a race that he wanted to exterminate. This is clear and obvious. This is what the Holocaust was actually about. But if Whoopi was going to make the case that this was about anti-Semitism rather than about a racial issue and that in reality they were targeting the Jewish people based on Hitler's allegations that they were a race, I could understand she was making that point and I could actually give her a little bit of credit for that. And she even talked about how there was like ethnicity issues. Well, that how was do we have to black people see them as white people? And they, but they you're missing the point. You're yeah. missing the point. Yeah. The minute you turn it into race, it goes down this alley. Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. And again, sure, you can make the argument since a lot of Jewish people, especially in the United States, are very secular. I think they're one of the highest percentage of groups that are atheist, yet they still identify as Jewish, that it is an ethnic group. But in reality, Adolf Hitler labeled that ethnic group, that religious group, a racial group. So in that way, the Holocaust was about race. However, there is a very important point because the allegation that is being put forward against this small Tennessee school board district that ended up removing Mouse not from the school, but from the assigned readings for eighth graders is that that they felt that the white people, the cats in Mouse, because the Nazis are portrayed as cats, are stand in for white people oppressing the minorities, which are the mice, aka the Jewish people. But here's the thing. In that way, the cats in Mouse are not about race because the Nazis, despite what Anna Navarro in her brain dead take says right here. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but it's not, it's not about and, and race. It's, it's not white supremacists. It's just not the case. They were German supremacists. They wanted the Germanic people who they believed to be the master race to have more power and influence. And this is one of the reasons why Hitler's early invasions were into territories that had a lot of ethnic Germans. A lot of it was for revenge against ethnic Germans that were feeling like they were oppressed. This is one of the reasons why in a bunch of places where Hitler went, people kind of just gave the territory. Now, a lot of people were also war weary. We all know about appeasement. Hopefully, hopefully you guys know about that. But overall, the Germans believed that they were the master race, Germanic people. So to say that World War II was about race is a little bit ridiculous because white people and white people from America when we had Jim Crow laws, so people who were flying Confederate flags, people who supported segregation are the people that went over to Europe and liberated the Jews and ended the Holocaust and defeated the Nazi Germans. So the idea that the Holocaust is a consequence purely of racism and not a unique strain of anti-Semitism that is quite virulent, that it's kind of separate from other forms of racism, is a little bit ridiculous. But the idea that it's not about that at all, even though Hitler proudly proclaimed the Jewish people to be their own race, is also ridiculous. So there's like a middle ground here. And again, if Whoopi would have emphasized the anti-Semitism or Whoopi would have emphasized the ethnic differences, even though Hitler called them a race, I could have given her some credit. But she did this weird thing that people often do where they try to broaden everything out and just say, oh, this just people killing people like, oh, it was just humans and it's all white people and all that. No, there were reasons for the Jewish people being targeted during the Holocaust. There were reasons that Muslim nations aligned with Adolf Hitler. There were reasons that other nations also aligned with Adolf Hitler that happened to have a long history of anti-Semitism. It's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. It's a problem. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, because black, white, Jews, uh, it's how everybody eats each other. But these are two white groups of people. Now, the big problem with what Whoopi Goldberg said here is she tried to broaden it out and kind of separate what Adolf Hitler did 
from anti-Semitism, from anti-Jewish sentiment, and from his own words. The idea that it's just people killing people, what can you do? We just observe it as you human versus you human, and you brought it out and try to inform the conversation with a modern interpretation of Jewish Americans standing in the United States of America doesn't make a lot of sense. It's very contradictory to what was being said, written, published, and what was passed into law leading up to the Holocaust at the time, and it doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, if you think about it, you could make the same argument about the Japanese, and it would also run into the same exact problems that we're seeing here, because the Japanese killed mostly Asian people in their conquest during World War II. But the thing is, the Japanese and the Asian people that they killed were both ethnically Asian, and they were both ethnically East Asian, China, Korea, etc. But the thing about the Japanese is they presumed themselves to be the master race. So in a way, even though it was clearly an ethnic conflict, it was also a racial conflict. I mean, one of the things that happened when the Germans and the Japanese aligned during World War II is that the Germans recognized the Japanese as the Asian master race. So this was all incorporated and all mixed up and all presented together there at the time. And us trying to look back on it and then add our modern interpretations on it doesn't make any sense. So what Wolfie Goldberg said about how it's just people versus people and had nothing to do with race is exactly as accurate as Anna Navarro proclaiming for some reason that it was about white supremacy. It wasn't. It was about German supremacy, hyper-German nationalism, whatever you want to call it. And it just doesn't make sense to say different. And the thing is, is that some of the thinkers that undergird the philosophy of the German people at the time in terms of racial issues would not have considered one of the key German allies during World War II in the same category as the Germanic people. This is because white, what we call white today, was actually referred to as the Nordic race, which was mostly Northwestern European ethnic groups. Irish, English, all these different people were cobbled together and they were considered that, but Southern Europe and Eastern Europe were considered completely different ethnic groups. This is one of the reasons why the Communist Alliance, Joseph Stalin aligning with Adolf Hitler in the secret treaty and deciding to split up a bunch of parts of Eastern Europe was absolutely ridiculous because if you read the foundation of Adolf Hitler's thoughts, you knew at some point he was going to go after the ethnic groups that were also present in Russia. So everything about this is just incorrect. And the rebuttals to Whoopi Goldberg on stage, specifically from Anna Navarro, are childish and stupid. Today uh, on our show, I misspoke. I said that the Holocaust wasn't about race, and it was a st instead about man's inhumanity to man. But it is indeed about race, because Hitler and the Nazis considered Jews to be an inferior race. Now, words matter, and mine are no exception. I regret my comments, as I said, and I stand corrected. Now, of course, Whoopi Goldberg ended up apologizing for her comments on The View after she went to Stephen Colbert and did not apologize and kind of tried to stick by it and say, no, 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 Jewish people are white, trust me. It's not a big deal. It is white on white violence. And she actually said prior to the clip that was shown that you should just let the white people fight it out because they're fighting and basically implied that it was no big deal, which is a lot of nonsense. She was suspended from The View for two weeks over this nonsense. And I just want to point out that if Whoopi Goldberg was a white person on The View, if she was Meghan McCain or whoever they had as the stand in for conservative, she would be fired from The View immediately for her comments, not just suspended for two weeks. But also, this isn't the most anti-Semitic thing that a black person who is a public figure has said in recent years. Remember, Nick Cannon got into this whole scandal because he was repeating the nonsense from Louis Farrakhan and the black Hebrew Israelites about how all the Jewish people that exist today are counterfeit Jews and black people are the real Jews and all that other anti-Semitic nonsense. And Nick Cannon, even though he got dropped from one company, he was broadly supported amongst black people and a bunch of different companies very publicly said that they're going to stand by Nick Cannon. And even in his apology, where he apologized for the things that he said about Jewish people, he didn't apologize for the equally nasty things that he said about white people in the same sentence. So Whoopi Goldberg's suspension for two weeks, I mean, honestly, you can think about that however you want. It doesn't really do anything for me for Whoopi Goldberg to be off the view. I don't watch The View, and she says dumb things all the time, inaccurate things all the time, so this is just something that got a bunch of attention because of its ridiculousness, 
And I just wanted to point out that not only is Whoopi Goldberg ridiculous and a lot of the criticism against her is legitimate, but a bunch of the response to Whoopi Goldberg is ridiculous. And the whole mouse controversy is based on a foundational lie put forward by the left about why the Tennessee school board removed this from the assigned readings for the eighth graders. So everything about this story, a little bit ridiculous. Everything about this story, a little bit dumb. Everything about this story, not very highbrow kind of content, but I wanted to bring it to you. I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to give you a little bit of information on the philosophy of the Germans. And I wanted to say that to those people who are leaving nasty comments about how they don't think the Holocaust happened, go, just just leave. Don't, don't leave your comment, just leave. I don't need you in here. We don't do the Holocaust denial over here at the actual Justice Warrior. But hey, those are just my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, you can show them by leaving a like. You can subscribe for more content. You can follow me on all my social medias. You can support me via the support links in the description box of this video. This has been me talking about Whoopi Goldberg saying some goofy stuff. Till next time.